Cobra Night Attack 4-Wheel Drive Stinger and Driver. When you have this thing fully assembled, at first you'd be owed by it. But later on, it's going to look so basic. So, does it really feel like a Night Attack 4-Wheel Drive vehicle at hand? So, let's build up on the build and put in some of the existing accessories and weapons that we have on board. So does this profile look like your out-of-the-box stinger? Actually, there is more than meets the eye. So let's take a closer look first at the main weapon system of this Cobra Stinger. This type of weapon system modification isn't possible if the mounting system for the missiles of the Cobra Stinger isn't made of soft pliable plastic. So the missile rack actually could be subjected to your basic exacto knife. So there you go. So very easy to do and you could do um, your mounting options as you please okay so there's four mounting racks so the two center mounting racks that's the first that i cut off to mount this targeting system so targeting and the ammunition depot for the 20 millimeter m61 vulcan cannon okay so this is an accessory that belongs to your Tiger Force Ram Cycle. This belongs to your Masters of the Universe Revelations Deluxe figure of Man at Arms. So with that ball, which I converted into a day and night eye for vision for your targeting device, for your surface to air missiles or your sums and your vulcan cannon so this thing belongs to a fortnite action figure so the female medic actually that he, uh, used to be very available um, last christmas season or possibly post christmas season i think january wherein that figure was very available at uh, Ross okay so it had that um, drone of a, a medical base of something so the eye I cut it off and glued it on to this man at arms um, accessory so actually it's a man at arms cannon so I did not cut this portion off well of course if you're going to do maintenance on this platform you need to hold on to something to move it back and forth or to lift it. So actually it's just practical. And we added, now that is an ammunition belt. So I drilled holes on this portion so I could insert an ammo belt and also on that portion drilled holes with a, of course, you just your normal house drill <laughs> so the belt that ammunition belt comes from my one is to six scale action figures um, accessories lot so that used to i think for a majus a 12 uh, one is to six scale majus okay so very simple but really nice looking weapon main weapon system for your stinger easy to do and the accessories are readily available so if you're going to have this kind of system for a stinger then for maintenance purpose of course and to mount missiles and to reload the ammunition for the vulcan cannon you would need a platform so this section of the vehicle used to store a very micro fire extinguisher. 
what a useless allocation of space. So that is now occupied by a Carl Gustav 84mm recoilless rifle. So this is a weapon system that belongs to G.I. Joe classified series Bazooka. But actually this is not a Bazooka. Bazooka is the character, but the weapon that he wields is a Carl Gustav 84mm recoilless rifle. And it's very weird that when you take a look at the ammunition pack that Bazooka comes with, you are given this type of ammo or rocket. It actually belongs to a RPG not a bazooka nor a Carl Gustav recoilless rifle <laughs> so to remedy that situation so the ammunition that this um, now holds the the bag now holds comes from G.I. Joe classified series iron grenadier metalhead so the metalhead figure is on clearance at Amazon so I have two more figures so I could harvest accessories from that figure pack or set okay so because the if you're going to search for the Carl Gustav recoilless rifle so that's the proper spelling the ammunition actually does not have any fins it looks like this but it does not have the fins but this is 100% accurate 84 millimeter recoilless rifle especially the way that you're going to load the ammo onto the tube so this later on I'm going to get rid of the fins and possibly paint the body of the projectile black and it is possible to store the ammunition on the bazooka backpack by clearing off the material section on this part of the bazooka backpack okay so easily done with an exacto knife to mount the recoilless uh, rifle ammunition onto the hood or the backpack of bazooka onto the hood of the stinger. So we have slots. So what I did was just to mark with a sharpie the position that I would like to place or position this. So as you could see, the hole. So one simple dot. And we used a, where that is going to be a 3.18 millimeter drill. So that is the same diameter as the peg for backpacks for GI Joe classified series. So the question is, why include a 84 millimeter recoilless rifle to your stinger? Okay. So, the Carl Gustav literally is just a tube and a bullet. <laughs> a very crude weapon, but one that is very, very little. So, you don't need targeting or aiming devices. Um, it could be just bare minimum to iron sights. So, iron rear, iron front, and align and shoot for a two-man system so which the which the crowbar stinger is so you have the driver and the passenger or the weapons officer for the stinger and without aiming devices using radar or lasers the joes won't be forewarned that you are painting them so with a Carl Gustav, it's just going to be a sneak attack, point and shoot system. So you have the tube on the back and you have the weapons up front for convenience. Of course, driver and passenger or the weapons officer are going to dismount, cover the vehicle up, 
take the man portable system and aim at a GI Joe vehicle. So let's concentrate on the interior of the vehicle. So the item that we are taking a look right now, this thing is going to be a multi-band radio. So let's change angle. So we have the fire extinguisher, which used to be mounted on this section, but now that is occupied by the recoilless rifle. So on the side, we have two AK-47 rifles. Of course, if you're going to be a attack vehicle, small arms is a must or is needed. <laughs> so those spaces actually would hold on to the G.I. Joe Classified Series um, issue for Cobra Troops, the AK-47. And actually it holds onto those rifles very well, that section, I mean. Anyway, as you could see on the product photos of the Stinger, that is the weapon placement section for the rifle that is included with the Stinger driver. And actually, that sec this section, you could still store ammunition magazines, so possibly six or eight on this section just place them on a holder so that is the next thing that i'm going to do so i'm still figuring out how to store mag ak-47 magazines on this section so this is going to be the close-up view of the control panel of the cobra stinger so we have all i placed all of the lights as close as possible to the object so we could really take a clear close look at this section okay so let's move the rotating table a bit there you go okay so a little bit to the side there you go so the gear shifters this moves back and forth and the steering wheel column has still knobs and buttons just like your everyday driver <laughs> and these two rotates but it does not turn the wheels of the cobra stinger left or right it just rotates the Cobra Stinger won't be a sophisticated weapon system without the personnel that's going to man this weapons platform. So let's discuss the driver and the weapons officer. So we have an updated Cobra driver and our weapons officer, no other than Cobra Scrap Iron. So the drone that this guy was issued with, that's puny. Give him something bigger, grander. Cobra Stinger. Okay, so let's discuss the Cobra Driver, the only action figure that is included in this play set. Well, it's stated in the box of the Cobra Stringer, it's a four-wheel drive night attack vehicle. But the driver does not have night vision goggles. So, <laughs> well, we have to include night vision capability for our driver. So, include this guy with a... Action Force Valover's PVS-14 goggle set. Okay, so very easy, simple procedure wherein you just make a hole on the Cobra, hel um, Cobra driver helmet. According to the design of the peg of the PVS-14 by Action Force Valover's, Take out a little bit of material from the peg of the PVS-14 NVG and take out this part. 
so it's going to rest nicely on top of the helmet of the Cobra driver in non-night vision driving mode so that way so for example he's just driving back to base so he does not have to have that night vision capability employed so goggles up okay next thing is going to be the inclusion of small arms of course night attack vehicle so both of these guys should be sharing the same small arms that is intended for vehicles so something short but packs a punch these guys also share the same pistols of course they have to share the same magazines and ammunition so there you go so that's the same pistol and that's the same SMG so for attack night attack capability okay so let's take a look at the configuration of the light machine gun okay so sling so i have a sling tutorial um video so just take a look at that sling tutorial if you're interested with how to mount ac slings on your 1 is to 12 scale figures so this is the configuration of the smg so um, i just made use of the action force valaverse magazines so to up the caliber instead of nine millimeter so we have a different caliber for this smg using action force valaverse rifle magazines and it's on a coupler <laughs> so nothing very fancy just glue the two magazines together that's it and attach a sling so this attachment point comes from handsets so actually the um, hinge that um, is included with the handset so just exacto knife it, uh, exacto knife it off from any of the handset that you choose uh, Marvel Legends, Jai Joe Classified Series, or Action Force Valivers. And there you go. You have a sling attachment point for your SMG. So, if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.